Hey, everybody. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Hey, how you doing? It's Sunday. How you doing? It's Sunday. How you doing? I don't have any more lyrics to that song I was making up as I went. Hey, what's going on? I'm Max Dean. Hat, huh? Whoa. They had a band on it. And I guess they broke up. I don't know. I haven't heard from them in a minute. Anyway, that's the painting I'm working on currently. I finished the painting of Mondo. But, most of... I think I got most of it recorded, but the finishing up of it, I don't think I got. But anyway, I'll put in a few different photos from different angles and do the whole, it slides and it backs up and forwards and you know that thing. I'll do that when I, when I put the video together. Um, <clears throat> if you haven't heard, there's been two more celebrity deaths in the last two days that I'm aware of, two or three days. Um, Dick Gregory, who was a comedian and, and a black rights activist, he passed away. Very tragic, you know. I mean, the guy was a, is, is a legend, you know. He's done so much and... Damn. And then another one, just as legendary Jerry Lewis the comedian and uh, comedic actor Jerry Lewis the host of the Jerry Lewis telethon Jerry Lewis passed away as well um, both tragic but you know they lived long lives they were both I think Jerry Lewis was 91 and Dick Gregory was in his 80s I think I might be wrong on that don't don't hold me to that but, you know, Jerry Lewis growing up was very influential to me. I, I grew up in a family, a military family, and we moved around a lot. And my dad wasn't always around. There were times where he went on overseas uh, tour of duties, but we didn't go, you know. We stayed here. My sisters were in, were in high school, so that was one reason for my mom to, to stay home, and, and he would go, and, you know, he'd be gone for 14 months sometimes, uh, you know. Anyway, I loved to do things with my dad, but he wasn't always around. So one of the fondest memories of me and my dad are watching old movies like watching all the Jerry Lewis and Dean Martin movies the Bob Hope and uh, Bing Crosby movies the Abbott and Costello movies the Laurel and Hardy movies all those old movies that just totally reminds me of my pop you know um, I used to Jerry Lewis to me was the best because you know just his mannerisms and his funny voices no oh, and Clayton go oh. and the character from the Simpsons based on Jerry Lewis is a nutty professor type of uh, character. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to be doing a tribute to both of those gentlemen, Dick Gregory and Jerry Lee Lewis, um, coming up. But um, what I was going to get at was Jerry Lewis had such an influence on my life growing up. I have somebody that I look up to right now who is an amazing artist. His name is Blake Jameson. The train conductor knows when I'm talking. And anyway, Blake Jameson, he, he's very organized from what I could see. And, and he did like a little interview thing where he was talking about, you know, his way of doing stuff and, and how when he first decided that he was going to go and make art his livelihood that he didn't do it like the way I'm doing it. He did it smart. He 
got his ideas, he perfected his craft. Well, you know, we're all in a constant, perpetual, improving ourselves motion. So he was, he got to the point where he was very good at what he was doing. And he decided that he was gonna get an inventory of work, an inventory of paintings of his style, like stencil work. And no matter how many people offered to buy these works, he said no. He waited until he got an abundance of work done and then he started to sell his work and he was able to sell his work for more money due to you know the volume you could see the that you know and this and that and that and and then doing prints of his work and selling those for of course way less and still getting his name out there you know that's the important thing is getting your name out there with an impressive piece of art attached to it so I've also seen because I follow him on Instagram that he has a list and he creates lists of subjects for his artwork that's one thing I've done and failed to stick to I make a list then life happens and I lose the list or or I get sidetracked or you know what I need emergency funds so I decide to do a painting or I decide to do you know so I think I just need to and you know getting burned on paintings that I've spent time on and, and you put you put a lot of yourself into these creations you know you, you, you take a picture like this one of Mondo and this is for their family Mondo has passed away and so you know there's no way in heck I'm going to not put 120% of myself into this I'm gonna give it everything I've got I'm gonna show the respect that he deserves and the all right sorry about that um, so I got an incoming phone call um, you yeah I put you put a hundred percent of yourself into the painting because you want to show the respect that that subject deserves and you know as a as an artist you want your work to reflect how you're Anyway, so um, I've been burned several times. I've done artwork for somebody who they criticize it and and say to do this or do that, do this, do that, or it doesn't look like them or you know whatever. And hey, look, you know, I'm not doing photocopies over here you know these are hand painted pieces of art so okay no big deal you know I just I'm just learning to just brush it off and and move forward so what I think I'm gonna do right now is focus on finishing these last few that I have for um, people who requested me to you know you know I'm going to finish up these last few that I have that I've already committed myself to and then I'm going to stop taking requests if you will. I'm not I'm got, not, not going to do any more of that. I'm going to pick my subjects and do those paintings and then hold them to the side. I'm even thinking of doing that glaze technique that I'm, I'm watching. Blake Jameson do it's like an epoxy mixture and you lay the canvas flat and then you pour this on there and you you know and it's like a it's like a glass shell on the top of it and it, yeah, holy crap it looks cool so I'm thinking of stealing that idea from me Blake if you ever see my videos this I'm gonna it's thank you making a lot of sense today sorry anyways um, so that's what I wanted to do this video about I wanted to kind of say that I'm gonna put together a list and it's gonna include all the things and people I wanted to do in the past and hadn't got to and there's a lot of musicians and actors and people who have passed away and um, work on that list thin it out and as it thins I'm sure I'll add more and I want to get a good 
I don't even know how many pieces I should put together before I start doing regular works, you know? So, I don't know. Does that, any of that make sense to you guys? I'm, I don't know. I. It's hot. It's Sunday. And I'm working on this. And this is a Batman. Oh, wait. Sorry. Superman and Batman. And Goku and his brother are right here somewhere. Anyway, it's all drawn out, and I'm going to try to work on this one all day. I did the black, and I'm adding gray. I added some brown to the background and this and that. But, you know, it's going to be a couple more days of steady focus on this before it's finished. But, anime kicks your butt. Clavin! So, okay. Thank you for watching everybody and I'll talk at you later. I'm Max Dean. Batteries low and be easy greasy. Hey, shake a foot. Shake your foot.